As the old world and ways become a distant memory, I am very thankful as I look back on my journey as a busker that I got to experience what I felt was a golden age of street music in the wonderful city of Berlin. For four years I was a part of its soundtrack and landscape and played my part as Winston Freeman, an immaculately dressed busking drifter who was always searching for the special stuff, be it music, people, conversation, beer or smoke, and preferably all of these together. My place to make music was the Ubans. I loved to fill these chambers with my crackly smoky voice and finger-picking folk songs, all caked in a thick underground reverb. It also had trains like clockwork pumping colourful Berliners through my trajectory who would often fill my hat with coins and my heart with love. I felt proud to be a busker in Berlin. It was appreciated and supported more than any other place I had played. My favourite U-Band to play was Eisenacher Strass, which was in the heart of Schoenberg, not far from where a Mr Bowie lived. I would grab a few beers on the way as the early evening approached and get there to secure the spot putting my mic stand down like a flag in the ground. After slowly setting up and getting into the busking mindset, I would proceed to sing my songs and drink my beers and smoke my rollies and fill this nice station with my sound for a few hours. It was like a night out, but instead of spending money, you come home with a pocket full of coins, or geld as I would always call it, and feel on a very special high. Some days that pocket full of geld was more than a hundred euros and some days it was enough to buy a few beers and go out for the night. You could never know how it was going to turn out. But that was the kick. You can play for an hour with nothing and then all of a sudden three CDs sell and lots of drops come. A good bus can put you on top of the world and a bad one can nearly finish you. It was an exhilarating ride and to be living from the songs I love to sing made it deeply satisfying. Waking up after a good busk is always a nice feeling. It takes a few moments to realise you have a bag full of coins to spend and can enjoy the day. After a percolated coffee, I head out on my usual route of second-hand shops in the old southwest of the city in search of suits, shoes and shirts. Sometimes they were a squeeze and a bit short, but I didn't mind losing some movement ability and comfort as long as I looked good. And I always did. I would then head to DM and subtly douse myself with their most expensive aftershave, then buy a few beers for the train ride and head east for the night. My first destination was always Warsaw Strasse, a filthy loud place at the border of the old Russian East and where the two main train lines meet. Despite its dirtiness and noise, it was a magnet for buskers, drifters, druggies, drinkers and all kinds of crazy and creative people. I would arrive there some days and there would be eight or nine buskers lined up to play an hour, all with different instruments and cases in the queue. With half a litre of beer a few metres away for a euro, it was my favourite place and a great meeting place for musicians. As darkness descended, I would head to my favourite dive bar that was close by, called Artliners. Here you could smoke like it was Amsterdam and they had live music five or six nights a week with a good selection of scotch and cheap Berliner beer. I would get there around 8 or 9pm just as the live music was starting, drink a whiskey to warm myself up and find a seat at the front to enjoy the music. The next and penultimate step was a doner kebab made with love. You take a wrap, then spread a little garlic, chilli and herb sauce around it. The chicken is roasting on the fire with tomatoes and peppers at the top, so it slowly flavours the chicken as it spins around the fire. They slice off some chicken in style and then mix it with some herbs and spices as they cut it into smaller pieces and then place it on the wrap. Then they add some salad of tomatoes, lettuce, onions, a squeeze of lemon and a sprinkle of feta cheese, then wrap it firmly into an oblong feast in tinfoil that made it very easy to eat. This feast would put a closure to the night for me, and from there I would hop on one of the many trains, buses, trams or subways and make my way home to the southwest, where I would be in bed before midnight with a heart full of music and experiences. I would then repeat this each day until all of my money ran out, and then I would head out to Eisenacher to fill my pockets and ride the Berlin ride for a few more days.